It's easy to spot the differences among these hockey players. Different sizes, ages ranging from 8 to 37. Even the talent gap is larger than most teams. Nice shot, Mitch! But there's one common bond these players share. Oh, well, it's a family. All of them have special needs. They call themselves the Grizzlies. Don Holman has been their coach for a decade. Happy to be on the ice again? I've coached at BYU, UVU, way back also UVSC a long time ago. Youth league from five years to 14, 15 years. And special needs is a totally different game. That's it, Toby. Be ready to pass next time, okay? For starters, the Grizzlies play exhibitions against high school and college teams, but with a twist. They play easy at f first, and then they, they get a little harder. It's pretty tough, but I usually get through them so I can get better scores. Yeah. You score a lot of goals? Yeah. Is that the best part? Uh, yeah, and also I help the team win too. I think high school teens are kind of like harder and tougher, but then we make like friends and make them like they're nice, and then we just like beat them like, like 23 to 24 goals. Every game we, we take a, a puck into the best player on the other team who helped us out and stuff and made us look good and put smiles on the faces of the other kids. So, you know, we, we appreciate it. We can't, can't do what we do without it. They also can't do it without donations of both money and time from people like Coach Homan. Head up, head up, head up! Sometimes we got to stop and remind of what we're supposed to be doing, but that's the nature of the special needs, and it's fine. Coach, is, he, he's the nice guy, but he can be, be tough on you. Yeah. So, so, it's good though, right? Yeah. What have you learned the most from him? Uh, how to skate more like a professional. He teaches like how to make good passes and make good goals and then make a better defense. What have you learned from him? Uh, through hockey? Um, how to respect one another, do a personal space, pay much, how to not to get mad at stuff. Nice! Sometimes you get to be able to teach some life lessons in there, which kind of makes it satisfying. And, and sometimes it's just the fact that these kids get to do something else besides sitting at home and watching TV all day. Keep your head up, go around slower players, let's go! Something that helps turn this diverse group into a family. I hope you are watching this and like like this interview. In Provo, Jake Edmonds. Hurry! Hurry! Talking sports.